Onboard Gossip, The Fast Talking Chronicles of Public Transport. Fellow commuters, we've all been there. You've squeezed into a crowded bus, tram, or subway, trying to ignore the fact that you're practically snuggling with strangers. And then, it happens, the onboard gossip session begins. Someone starts sharing a juicy story that's just too good to resist, but there's one tiny catch, they talk slower than a sloth on a Sunday stroll. It's a form of cruel and unusual punishment, my friends, but fear not, we're here to explore this bizarre phenomenon with humor and wit. The Slow Talker Conspiracy It's almost as if there's a secret society of slow talkers who've infiltrated our public transportation systems. They gather like clockwork, waiting for the ideal moment to unleash their drawn-out tales of intrigue, mystery, and drama. You can spot them easily. They are the ones who make you question your life choices as you stand there, suspended in gossip purgatory. The Gossipy Torture Chamber Imagine this, you're engrossed in a story about an office romance gone awry or a neighbor's cat rescue mission, and then it happens. The slow talker takes the stage. Their words flow at a pace that would make a snail say, come on, pick up the pace. You're left hanging in suspense as they reveal crucial details like they're reading the entire works of Shakespeare aloud, with dramatic pauses that could rival a Shakespearean tragedy. Struggling to stay interested. As the slow talker drones on, your mind begins to wander. You contemplate the meaning of life, rehearse your grocery list, and calculate how long it would take for you to walk home instead. But no. You're committed to this tale of office politics or neighborly heroics, and you must see it through to the end. You are in gossip purgatory, my friend, and there's no escape. Impatient smirks and eyebrow raises. The best part about these slow-talking gossip mongers is the collective reaction of the other passengers. We exchange knowing glances, eye rolls, and stifled giggles. It's as if we've formed an unspoken bond, a secret society of eye-rolling commuters. We communicate through raised eyebrows and bemused smirks, silently acknowledging that we're all in this together. The grand finale, sweet release. Finally, after what feels like an eternity, the slow talker reaches the climax of their story. You're on the edge of your seat, desperately awaiting the resolution. Did Karen get the promotion? Did the neighbor rescue the cat from that tree? And then, it happens, the grand finale, the denouement. It's over. You're free. You exit the vehicle, feeling both relieved and oddly connected to your fellow passengers. So, the next time you find yourself trapped in a public vehicle with a slow-talking gossip enthusiast, take a deep breath, embrace the humor in the situation, and remember, you're part of a secret society of irolas who've survived the most excruciating of onboard sagas. Until the next commute, my friends, may your gossip sessions be swift and entertaining.